the memorial of that flight in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, to tell the story of all of those on board. Watch. Steve, thanks for having us to this amazing memorial. I've always wanted to come because um, having worked in Washington and having had so many friends working in the Capitol at the time, this flight to me makes me extremely emotional. When you think about the brave actions of these men and women on that particular morning, it really kind of culminates with this tremendous 2,200 acre memorial. I wonder if you can maybe show me a little bit of how this turned out. I'd be honored to do so. Here along the flight path, it shows at 846 American Airlines Flight 11. This was the first plane that went into the tower. And it was at this point throughout America, I think we could all agree that people really weren't sure what was happening. United Airlines Flight 175 crashed into the South Tower at precisely 9.03 and two seconds. So I think at that point, uh, we all knew that America was, was really under attack. The men and women on Flight 93 had the ability to communicate with loved ones and others from the outside. So they were receiving information in real time. They looked at one another and said, we're not going back to an airport. It is at that side of that boulder, was, which is where it finally crashed. Kenny, thanks for being willing to talk to me. Uh, your brother was on the flight. Yes, Louis Joseph Naki II. We call it Joey. So this is the final resting place? Yes, this is uh, where I truly believe the, the spirit of the 40 heroes of Flight 93 are. What heroes? It just amazes me that 40 different individuals from all walks of life had an opportunity that were put in such a situation that no one is trained for. People coming together who are getting the information, putting it together. And then the most democratic thing that we have in our country, we have a right to vote. And they vote on a plan. While terrorists are, are, watching are piloting their plane. And then they kick it off. They execute the plan. And they prevent that plane from striking its intended target. I don't think when they started their assault that they thought they were going to lose. No. I think they had all the drive in to go home and have dinner with their families. President Bush said it was the first act of counterterrorism in the war on terror. With their brave decision, they launched the first counteroffensive of the war on terror. The most likely target of the hijacked plane was the United States Capitol. We'll never know how many innocent people might have been lost. First battle won, because they didn't reach their intended target. Right. They took their lives, their destiny in their own hands, and they said, not today. Not tomorrow, not ever. Do you feel pride? Oh, more than that. It's hard. I keep waiting for Joey and all of them to walk out of the trees. And you know, they'll dust themselves off. You said you shed your last tear. <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> Joey was an amazing dad, husband, brother, cousin and friend and patriot yes citizen very well said this is him yes it's him you know it's you know i always come by here i rub my my hand back and forth just to let him know i'm here i'm here with park ranger robert franz what is the most frequently asked question that you get why did we fill in that impact site? Because when the FBI had finished with the investigation, it looked nothing like it did on September 11, 2001. They turned the site over to the coroner, and he looks at those large piles of earth. He's gathered about 8% of the remains, but he realizes he'll never gather any more. That earth there, those piles of earth, are their final resting place. So the question, why did they fill it in? Well, that's why. It's sacred ground. It is. One of the things President Bush said um, in 2011 is that we have a duty to remember and a duty to live. We have a duty beyond memory. We have a duty to live our lives in a way that upholds the ideals for which 
the men and women gave their lives. You probably have younger people come. How do you help them understand the importance of the site and the historical significance of it? I hope to plant a seed because one day I say I won't be here to tell the story and hopefully one day one of them will be because it's a story that has to be told. What a powerful story, isn't it? It really is. I love his point about what a democratic thing to do, to vote, to get up, to go, and then attack those people that were holding the plane hostage. It Good is. for Dana for doing this. And it is it's such the American way for us to, to band together to try to do something to solve a problem at that moment, and they did that. And the resistance, not a passive group. Yeah. Right. And it's hard to believe 15 years. Holy, holy. And then, Thank and then you President to Dana Bush. Prina for that. Yeah. yeah, President Bush saying it was the first act of counterterrorism against the terrorists.